Good evening, everyone. A special welcome to those joining with us from the comfort of their homes, those in the surrounding, and also those online, and to everyone in the hearing of my voice. Welcome to our Sunday evening evangelistic program. Also, please join us this Wednesday evening at 5.45 p.m. through to 6.45 p.m. for our prior tower hour. Let us pray as we are about to begin our song service. Let us pray. O loving and almighty Father, thank you for your mercies, thank you for your grace, thank you for everything that you have done. Be with us, protect us, guide us, and keep us as we go throughout this song service. In your name I pray, amen. Amen. Our first hymn will be hymn number 10, Come Christians, Join to Sing. Come Christians, join to sing. Hallelujah, amen. Loud praise to Christ our King. Hallelujah, Amen. Let all with heart and voice before His throne rejoice. Praise is His gracious choice. Hallelujah, Amen. Come, lift your hearts on high. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee. Hymn number 12. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory. Worthy is the Lamb. Two, four, six. 
would have been blessed. At this time, we'll go straight into our opening hymn. Our opening hymn is 593, In Times Like These. In times like these, you need a Savior. In times like these, you need an anchor. Be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus, yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. In times like these, you need the Bible. In times like these, oh, be not idle. Be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus, yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips a solid rock. In times like these, I have a Savior. In times like these, I have an anchor. I'm very sure, I'm very sure. My anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus, yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. Amen. 
we will now have our scripture reading. Our scripture reading is taken from Romans 13, verses 11 and 12. Romans 13, verses 11 and 12. And it reads, And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believed. Twelve and last, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Amen. At this time, I will be introducing to you our speaker for this evening. He's a man of God. He's a first elder of the Jackson Seventh-day Adventist Church. He's a passionate person and his joy is sharing the word of God to me, to you, and to everyone that he come in contact with. I'm speaking of no other than Elder Evangelist Dudley Marcus Murray. But just before he comes, we will be blessing your hearts with the song of meditation. The judgment has said, the books have been opened. How shall we stand in that great day when every thought and word and action God the righteous judge shall weigh? How shall we stand in that great day? to the end of our journey? How shall we stand when the road is called up yonder? How shall you and I stand? Will be will you and I found before it wanted? Or will we be 
found with our sins wash away. And that's a question that every one of us this evening must answer. And the time to answer that question it is now. Whatever a man sweeth, that shall he reap. I want to say a big welcome to those of us who are listening from the community, and those who are listening online. It is a joy to be in the presence of the Lord. A joy to share with you someone that I love. His name is Jesus. In this final Sunday evening, in the month of May 2020, it is truly a joy to be among the land of the living. God is truly good to us. In spite of the circumstances that you may be experiencing in your life, God is still a good God. He still sit high and look low. He's still a problem solver. And he will still make a way for you. Because he's still the way maker. Thank you very much for your lovely singing. I'm going to invite you very quickly. As we seek to spend some time in the word of God this evening. To turn with me towards scripture reading. Romans chapter 13. Verses 11 and 12. But just before we read Romans chapter 13, 11 and 12, I invite you to journey with me to the Old Testament, to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3. I'll be looking at verses 1 through to 4. After which we will take our opening scripture reading. We will take our scripture reading rather. From Romans chapter 13 verses 11 and 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Reading from verses 1 through to 4. And the Bible reads us. To everything. There is a season and a time to have a purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pull up that which shall be planted, a time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. Let us journey over now to Romans chapter 13, verses 11. Through to 12. And that knowing the time. That now is I time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer. Than we believe. The night. Is for spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Let us put on the armor of light. I hope to share with us for the next few minutes on the subject Arise and Shine. And give God the glory. Let us pray. Father in heaven. This evening we give you thanks for your mercies. And for your grace towards us. 
We are happy this evening to know that the seals sit high and look low. We are so happy to know this evening that we have a privilege to take everything to you in prayer. We pray for those that is listening this evening from the comfort of their homes those on social media Facebook and those who are following us on YouTube we pray that when this message would have come to its end that all of us will arise and shine and give you the glory that due to your high and holy name touch my lips even now let the words come forth with power and clarity. In Jesus' name, amen. Arise and shine and give God the glory. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3, the wise man Solomon brought into view seasons that every one of us will have an experience in our life. Want to say to those of us that is in the hearing of my voice if you live long enough every single one of us will experience these different series these different events in our life. A time for every purpose under the heaven. A time to cry. And a time to love. A time, my brothers and sisters, for every purpose under the heavens. It doesn't matter what you're experiencing this evening. It may be a time of sorrow. But I want to say to you this evening. That the time is coming. In your life. When you will be able. To smile again. You may be smiling this evening. But I want to say to you. That a time is coming in your life. When you will be weeping. Everything. Everything. Under the heavens is just for a time. The circumstances that you are experiencing this evening. You may be experiencing a terrible time in your life. It may seem as if that the storms of life is beating on your shores this evening. But I want to say to someone that is in the hearing of my voice. That this too will pass. I want to say to someone this evening, it is time to arise and give God the glory. Doesn't matter what you're experiencing, the Bible tells us that this time, this season will pass by. But I want to bring to our attention this evening, that even as we're experiencing these seasons in our life, we need to come to the full consciousness that it is time to arise and give God the glory. What do you mean by that, Mr. Preacher? You may ask this evening. Romans chapter 13. Paint a clear picture to us this evening. That it is now time. It is that time in our life, my friends. For us to arise out of sleep. Because our salvation is nearer than we first believe. I want to say to someone this evening that maybe you would have started out on this pathway to walk with our Savior Jesus Christ. You maybe start out with him five years ago, maybe ten years ago, maybe fifteen years ago, maybe twenty years ago. And it may seem as if the road is long and dreary. It may seem as if that the hills are hard to climb. It may seem as if 
that the Jordan that you are crossing seems as if that it's only getting more heavier. But I want to say to someone this evening that maybe you are going through your Jordan, but I want to give you the assurance this evening, no matter what you are going through, and it may seem as if that the, the pillars and the floods of the river is about to sweep your feet from off the ground, but I want to say to someone this evening that you don't have to cross Jordan alone. I want to say to someone that is still sleeping in sin, it is time to rise and give God the glory. What are you talking about, Mr. Preacher? I want to say to someone this evening in this community and those in line, for too long you are sleeping in sin. I want to say to someone, it is time to repent and change your ways because we don't know, you don't know when the season of death will come in your life. You don't know when the season of weeping will come in your life. But I want to say to someone, when you place your hand in the hands of God, when you arise and give him the glory, even if death should come in your family, even if weeping may come, I want to give you assurance that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Your season, my friends, will change. But it will change only when you arise and give God the glory. What are you talking about? I want to say to someone this evening that when you place your hand in the hands of God, whatever season come in your life, you will give God a praise. If death come, you will praise God. If sorrow come, you will praise God. In good time, you will give God the glory. In sad time, you will give God the glory. Because you know that all things work together for good that serve the Lord. I want someone to recognize this evening that no matter what you're experiencing in your life, if Jesus will make a way, he's still the way maker. He's still the problem solver. Doesn't matter how far you have gone, Jesus is still calling you. He's saying, my child, come home before it is too late. So, Solomon, Remind us this evening, my friends. In Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 1, the Bible declare, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. I want someone to recognize that a evil day is coming. A sad day is coming. But when you place your hand in the hands of God, when you allow Jesus to be in your life, then my friends, he will lead you safely home. No time for the child of God to be sleeping. It is time to be wide awake. Can you not see the signs of the time fulfilling everywhere? Can you not hear the sound of war? Can you not hear the sound of the husband that is riding, that is coming towards God people? I want to say to someone this evening that just as old Jacob was making a way to meet Esau. I want to say to someone this evening that Satan working through the elements, working through different forces and is doing everything this evening to sweep God harvest. I want to say to you this evening, just like I shared with you yesterday, that when you place your hand in the hands of God, you are marked for death. But I want to give you the assurance this evening that though you may be and Satan list marked for death, I want to say to someone this evening that my God, my Jesus, when you stand for him, the Bible reminds us that he will not blot out our name out of the book of life. Oh, if I could sing this evening, I would sing like the songwriter by saying, write my name, write my name up there. I want to ask someone this evening the question, won't it be a time when we get over yonder? What a day that will be when we will sing home at last, home at last. But Paul, in Romans chapter 13, remind us this evening. Before we can sing the victory song, we need to be awakened. And that knowing the time, that now is high time to awake out of sleep. 
want to suggest to someone this evening. As we look at Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Paul want to wake us, arouse us to our consciousness. If you notice carefully, as we segue from Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and look at Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. We see the picture being painted that all of this ought to do with time. I want to say to someone this evening, there is a saying that time is the master. I want us to recognize that God is a God of time. And whatever you do, or whatever you say you will do, you will do it. There are many this evening, there are many scoffers that are going about saying that from I was born, I hear that Jesus is coming and I'll know I cannot see him come. I want to give you the assurance this evening even as the sun is setting on the, for the last time on the last day in the month of May 2020 I want to give you the assurance from the word of God that just as the sun is setting this evening one of these days the sun will set for the last time one of these days the birds will chirp no more one of these days the sea will roar no more. One of these days, my brothers and sisters, time shall be no more when my Jesus say, it is finished. The question then will be, what will your answer be? Will you be found before him wanted? Or will your sins wash away that's a question that all of us must dare to answer our wife cannot answer that question for us our husband cannot answer that question for us our pastor our elders our leaders our children our mother our father cannot answer that question for us my brothers and sisters every one of us will have to give an answer to god for ourselves We can always say that I'm my own big man or my own big woman, but there is only one big man, and that is God. When the time comes, you and I will have to give account to Him for what we have done with this precious gift, the gift of life. Knowing the time that now is I time. To awake or to sleep. Why? For now is our salvation nearer than we first believed. The Bible did not say tomorrow. The Bible did not say next week. The Bible said now. Now is the time to wake up out of sleep. Oh, if I could sing this evening. I remember a song that say, Wake me, Jesus. Wake me, Jesus. Don't let me sleep too late. My brothers and sisters, there are many this evening that will sleep for late. Why? Because when they hear the sound and hear the message of the gospel, the Bible tells that many would have had itching ears. But I want to say to you this evening that the time to be happy is now. The time to be with Jesus is now. The time to make it right with God it is now. What we sleep in. As you read the Bible, you will discover a number of times when a crisis is about to face God people, they are always in a state of sleeping. As you read through Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and as you see the record of the crucifixion story, you will observe that in the most critical time on that Thursday evening, when Jesus was just always away from the cross, you will recognize that the state that the church in the form of the disciples were doing, they were sleeping. And even today in 2020, Paul chronicled the word in Romans chapter 13 to remind us that it is time to arise 
out of sleep because our salvation is now nearer than we first believed. Maybe we believe that we have a lot of time here, but I want to say to you that there's no time than this time, and the time is now. Tomorrow may very well be too late. Over a month now I'm sharing the word of God with this community. Over a month now I'm sharing the word of God to those in line. And many may scoff at it. Many may be saying every evening get up and sharing what is he doing. But I want to say to you that if you don't want to hear this gospel, whether you want to hear it or not, the Bible tells us that the time is coming that you're going to wish that you're going to have someone to share with you the word of God. A famine is coming. It is coming. And it's not for food. It's not for the thirst of water, but for the word of God. One of these days, there will be no more preaching from this home. One of these days, there will be no more preaching from social media. One of these days, the preaching will be over. Man will be running to and fro, begging and pleading. To you a word from God. I want to say to someone this evening. It is time. To arise. And shine. And give God. The glory. Let us therefore. Cause off the works of darkness. And let us put on the armor of light. What are you talking about? Darkness here, my brothers and sisters, symbolize sin. Darkness here symbolize wrongdoing. Darkness here symbolize false worship. Darkness here symbolize lying, killing, and stealing. And here Paul is saying to us, it is time for us to change our ways. It is time for us to leave Babylon and go to Jesus Christ. Because Revelation reminds us that Babylon is falling, is falling, is falling. Why? Because she has made our nation drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. I want to say to someone this evening, for too long we allow the powers that be to twist our mind, confuse our mind, because we don't spend time in the word of God. But I want to say to someone this evening, if you want to grow, you, then you must read the word of God because when you neglect to read the word of God the only thing can happen you're going to shrink we allow the powers that be to give us message that made us feel as if it is peace and safety well, I want to say to someone this evening, whether you're ready or not, Jesus is coming again. Whether you're playing church or not, Jesus is coming again. Whether you're serious about your soul salvation or not, Jesus is coming again. And whether you decided to arise out of sleep or not, Jesus is coming again. It is a time for everyone it is time for every one of us to recognize that the time to make it right with God it is now we allow the powers that be to confuse our mind when the word of God is clear in scripture Revelation chapter 14 Verse 6 and 7, the Bible declare, And I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, to every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. What is the message? Saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to Him. Why? For the hour 
of his judgment is come and worship him that made heaven and earth the sea on the fountains of water what am i talking about this thing i'm talking about it is time to arise and shine and give god the glory god is a god of time He may appear to be for day late, but he's still on time. Whatever you are doing this evening, if you are doing the, the right, then God is going to repay you because he's a God of time. If you are doing the wrong, you're still going to receive a, pay a payment because God is a God of time. Whatever you say you will do, he will do it. Whether you are doing it in the public or whether you are doing it in secret, one of these days the Bible tells you, us that he revealed every secret and every even thing we can hide from the pastor we can hide from the elder we can hide from family member but we cannot hide from God I wonder why the Bible tell us there's going to be a lot of surprise in heaven I pray by the grace of God that I will make it because it would have been so sad that even after evening, Sabbath after Sabbath, I stand here to share the word of God. And when the time comes, I will be a cause of it. I pray by the grace of God that I will dare to be a Daniel. I will dare to stand alone. I will dare to make my purpose known. Dear my brothers and sisters, it's no time to play anky panky. It is time to make it right with God. I call on those in this community to repent and change your ways. I call on those online the time to make it right with God. Repent, repent. I'm saying to someone this evening, make it right with God. What does it mean to repent? It means to make a right about turn. Turn from our evil ways and make it right with God. Make it right with God. My grandma would have said to me, that when I'm giving trouble, she would have said to me, the time is coming if you don't stop what you are doing, your corner is going to be dark. There are a lot this evening that is in the hearing of my voice, those in this community and those online. If you don't change your ways, the time is coming when your corner will be dark. But I call someone this evening, as Paul reminds us in Romans chapter 13, in verse 12, the Bible said to us, my friends, it is time for us to make it right with God. Look what Paul said. Paul want to remind us this evening that we are no more children of darkness, but we are children of light. Let us, my friends, get rid of, of the sins that so easily beset us. Look what the Bible paint is so beautiful. The Bible said, the night is far spent. The he is at hand. Let us therefore cause of the works of darkness. Let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk in the light as children of light. It is a sad time, my friends. Even as our world experiences this pandemic, even as our country, Jamaica, is experiencing even a high level of crime and violence. To see that our children have been murdered even as we draw the curtain down on the month of May in which we celebrate Child Month. To see how many of our children have been abused. To see how many of our children have been raped and murdered. I want to say to someone this evening, it is time for the child of God to come out, out of darkness and put on the entire armor of Jesus Christ. And if those who are perishing in sin, give hope to the hopeless. Give hope to those who are perishing in sin. Stop the anky-panky. Because the time is coming when every tub will have to sit on their own bottom. The time to make it right with God. The time is now. I'm giving a warning to someone this evening. Maybe you're in the community. Maybe you're online. I'm giving you a warning this evening. I'm telling you that there is coming a day. It's coming a day. When we will have to give account 
for the precious gift that God gave to us. The precious gift of life. We can do all that we want to do. But remember now. Remember now. That for all these things. God will bring into judgment. Arise. And shine. And give God. The glory. My friends I want someone to recognize this evening. The while mercy door is still open, while God is still sitting on the throne, is saying to someone this evening, Come home, my child. Cause off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. I want to say to you this evening as I remind us yesterday that when you have put on the armor of light you will be marked for death by the devil but thank God that Jesus Christ will write your name in the book of life no man no woman no child this evening can serve to master is either you're on the side of God or you're on the side of Baal. But like Joshua this evening, I say to someone, if God be God, serve him. But if Baal is your God, then serve him. You cannot be in the river and at the bank at the same time. I pray by the grace of God, that someone this evening in this community in those online will join with Joshua when he say as for me and my house we will serve the Lord I decided to follow Jesus no turning back my friends the cross before me and the world behind me I have decided to follow Jesus. Will someone from this community this evening make the same decision? Will someone that is listening online this evening make the same decision by saying, I decided to follow Jesus with the cross before me and the world behind me. No turning back. No turning back. Jesus is the way maker. Jesus is the problem solver. Jesus will make a way. One of these days, my brothers and sisters, one of these days, crying will be no more. One of these days, weeping will be no more. One of these days, my brothers and sisters, Jesus will come. He will come and he will not tarry. One of these days, my brothers and sisters, the trumpet will sound. One of these days, the dead in Christ shall rise. One of these days, those of us who remain faithful to Jesus Christ will take our flight. One of these days, my brothers and sisters, one of these days, my Jesus is coming again. Until then, I want to say to someone this evening, swing low, sweet chariot. He's coming forward to carry us home. I want to say to us, until then, let us remain faithful. Until then, let us remain through because Jesus is coming again. He's coming. I don't know when he's coming. It may be in the morning. It may be at noon time. It may be in the evening. I don't know when he's coming. But one thing I know that Jesus is coming again. Will you ready? Will you ready to take your flight? Will I be ready to take my flight. I want to say to someone, my friends, I don't know what it feel like to fly, but one thing I do know, I trust in the promises of God. And my Bible tell me that one of these days, God himself will allow his chosen one to rise up with wings like a eagle. They shall mount up, my 
brothers and sisters, one of these days, what a day that will be when we will journey through space. What a day that will be when we will pass Jupiter. What a day that will be when we pass Mercury. What a day that will be when we pass Venus. What a day that will be when we take our flight. When we will be in the new Jerusalem with Jesus Christ to walk on the streets of gold, to look on the walls of Jasper. What a day that will be when I can rest my head on the lion and not be beaten. What a day that will be when I will see Jesus face to face. I look forward for that day when I will sit around the table, when I am able to meet with Moses, when I am able to meet with Daniel, and say, Brother Damien, what was it feel like when you were cast in the den? I'm sure you will listen to me, my brother. I want you to recognize that when I was going down in the den, I don't even feel it, because guess what? The angel of the Lord would have come by and give me a settlement in the den. It truly did not see, did not read in the scripture that when the enemy threw me in the den, could you not see that my God sent angel to shut the lion mouth? I would have wanted to see the three Hebrew boys to say to them, what was it feel like on that day when you look in Nebuchadnezzar's face and say, even if God doesn't do it for us, we will not bow. I look forward for that day when the three Hebrew boys can say, listen to me, Brother Murray. You didn't know what it looked like. You don't know what it feel like. But let me tell you something. When I go into that furnace, what I feel was that heat. I feel AC because could you not see? Did you not read in the scripture that my Jesus come and he would have delivered us from the fire and there are so many stories to be told and there are so much question that yet to answer but one thing my brothers and sisters I don't know about you tonight but one question I would have want to ask Jesus what have I done to deserve his precious blood that is shed upon Calvary? I want to be there to thank Jesus for all that he has done for me. So I want to say to someone this evening that just in case you have made it to heaven and if you look around that big table and if you look and you don't see Brother Murray, don't worry. If you walk through the corridors of heaven and you don't see Brother Murray, don't worry. But just as about to give up, I want for you to just take a look at Jesus' feet. And there you will find me. Thanking him for his grace and mercy. Thanking him for the tribulation that he have helped me to go through in this life. Until then, my brothers and sisters, I want to say to those and men and in this community, make it right with God. God, arise and give God the glory because Jesus is coming soon. Repent. 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 Repent and change your ways because Jesus is coming again. There's an appointment every one of us have this evening and that appointment is with death and appointment is with Jesus. The question is what will we choose this evening? Will we choose to be on the side of Jesus that if death should knock on our door then we know we'll have it right to the first resurrection or will we continue to live in sin? Romans chapter 6.23 remind us this evening for the wages of sin is that but the gift of Jesus Christ is eternal life. I want to say to someone this evening, as I bring this message to its close, Paul say to us this evening, it is time to awake or to sleep. The question I want to ask you this evening, those in this community and those online, what is it this evening you are sleeping in? Many may say, I'm sleeping in my bed. I'm not talking about that type of sleeping. Could it be that the sleep that you are in this evening is stealing? 
Could it be that the sleep that you're in this evening is adultery? Could it be fornication? What is the sleep that you are in this evening? Whatever sleep you are in this evening, Jesus is saying to you, it is time to arise and shine and give him the glory. I want to pray for someone this evening. Maybe you're in this community, wherever you are, even online. I want for you to just bow your heads with me as we pray this special prayer and ask the Lord to help us to arise and give him the glory. Let us pray. Father in heaven, this evening we acknowledge our sins and our transgression. You have called us this evening. To arise and shine and give you the glory. But the truth is that, Lord, there are many of us this evening who are sleeping in sin. And Lord, we recognize that if we continue to sleep in sin, then hell will be our portion. And so I pray this evening that you will wake us. Whatever it is that you need to do this evening to wake somebody, dear God, I pray that you will do just that. Oh God, help us this evening to recognize that the hacks is up the tree root. Even as I'm praying this evening, I want to say to someone in this community and maybe those in line, I don't know your circumstances this evening. But I want to say to someone this evening that debt is knocking on someone's door. It may be in this community. It may be in those in line. But I want to say to you before you die, my friend, seek the Lord. And there are many that will shut their ears this evening to this message. There are many that will walk their head. But I assured you that the time will come that you remember this message this evening. And you will see that the word of God will never return back to God void. So I say to someone this evening, repent, 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 repent. Repent, repent, because tomorrow may very well be too late. Too late. Too late. May God bless us this evening. Is my prayers with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Thanks to those who would have taken the time out this evening. To listen to this presentation. May God bless you as we continue to work for the master. Until then let us keep faithful. Let us keep through. Because Jesus is coming again.